Hi, uh, this is sound test. Should be okay. Okay, so this is a video to answer uh, post in the community about uh, how to display the instructions in the service request. So I'm going to do a uh, well, it will be another quick tutorial, so let's start. Okay. So basically what um, Tamara wants is to, when you go to a service request, here you have got the instructions uh, which are hidden and she wants that um, they are displayed by default. So we have got to find a way to, to do that. So as shown in my previous video, I'm going to use Firebug <coughs> once again. And I'm going to try and see what happens when uh, you click on instructions. So basically I'm inspecting uh, the instructions here. So it's a div instruction handler and class down. So let's see what happens when okay. Let's try again. Let's see what happens when I click on the on the arrow here. As you can see it changed from down to up on the class. See? Down, up, down, up. So basically something happens here uh, where it changes the class from the div. So what we are going to do is to, well, I, as always, uh, we can see that uh, the older app here is on uh, provide CSS, provide info.css. So basically what we are going to do here is just to open service, uh, the data visualization module and extract the SRM service request browser.jar. So let's do this. So we are looking in module name for something with SRS since we are in 8.1. In 7604 it, won't, it wouldn't be exactly the same name. So we are looking for this jar. We are going to save it. We are going to extract it since it's uh, only a zip file. And now we are looking for uh, instruction handler. Basically something happens and changes the class from the div. So what we are going to do is just search for instruction handler and see what we find. So we found several things. So we found the CSS. We found uh, a JavaScript file, GS, and we found a VM, which is a template. So basically, the template here is basically what what is displayed uh, when you display the. It's a just a template, HTML template. You can find the instruction handler and stuff like that. Instruction label stuff like that. This is a just template, so we could change here. Oh, sorry, we could change here the down to up, but we if we are doing that, we won't change a thing because basically if we change just the class, you can do that in uh, directly in uh, with Firebug. Let's say I change a class. As you can see, the arrow changed. You see, the arrow is up to down. If if I put up, the arrow changed from down to up. So if you change only the class in the to the template, it will only change the direction of the arrow. So it's not that. That's a quick way to find what happens. So it's not you don't have to modify the template. It won't be enough. So we have got to find something else. So let's see what we have into the other files. So 
we have got the CSS and we know that it's not that because if you just change a class you won't change a thing so it's not a template, it's in the CSS it might be in the JavaScript so let's in the JavaScript and there it's interesting because we have got some uh, JavaScript uh, code and basically you can see that the uh, dollar uh, mark stuff it's jQuery code so basically if you are familiar with uh, jQuery you understand at a glance that you declare, you create a function on instruction handler and when you click on it it will uh, slide down which is a jQuery command it will slide down the instructions label and it will change a class of instruction handler so basically it should be that because this piece of code changes the class of the instruction handler and does an animation slide down or slide up on the instruction label instruction div so basically it should be that so by default uh, the instruction I guess is not shown not showed so basically it's the equivalent of slide up let's say so when you click on um, when you click on the arrow so here it's hidden so class is down when you click on the arrow it changes to up so basically that means that if you want to show the instructions that means it's this piece of code you have got to use if you use this piece of code it will slide down the instruction and it will set the class of instruction on to up so wha what we are going to do is to actu actually take this code put it here since it would be ex executed at, um, at launch time when uh, it will be displayed some commentaries this is just to say what you changed so what will happen here is that the your code will be executed so it will set the variable in draw to false it's not very important uh, it will uh, slide down instructions and it will set the instruction handler uh, class to up so let's save we have got to build back the jar file so we send zip we make a zip file we rename it into jar here we delete the previous jar file we add the new one we save we have got to stop tomcat the tomcat of the meteor On the mid tier, we have got to check that plugin dev cache and plugins cache folder are empty. So we empty both of them. We launch Tomcat back. We empty the web browser cache. So, first of all, let's go to the home page. We empty the web browser cache. We log in. We go back to our service request and we try to ask for it and as you can see right now it's working so by default the instructions are, sh are shown so basically what we did is uh, just to take the code that is executed when we click on the instruction handler it's 
the instruction handler is a div ID and inside of it you should have instruction which is here. So basically uh, this code here is creating um, let's say an event. When we click on the div instruction handler depending on the value of this variable it will slide down the instruction tab or it will slide up. So it will hide or show the instruction handler and it will change the class of uh, instruction handler from um, up to down. So basically it will display the up or down uh, arrow. Here it's uh, down to up, up to down and as you can see it just changed the the class. So this is uh, I guess the right way to do it. If you wanted to do it some I guess a different way you could you could change the display here. As you can see the instruction style display block and when it's shown and when we click on it it goes to none. If you change it from none for example to block you have the instructions here. But the problem is that you don't really have, you know, the, the right row and stuff like that. And when you click on it, since the variable is not updated like we did here, when you click on it the first time, it will it will not do anything. For example, you are here, you change from display, none to block, the row is still to the down, to down, up to down. When you click on it, nothing happens but the class changed. So this is because the variable is not updated. So what we did is just to take the right code that will show the instruction, so these three lines of code, and we managed to make them executed when the, when the, the service request is displayed. So basically it should work fine. Well, that's all for now. Well, have fun. See you next time.